Hello everybody, this is MF. Welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future, the game. This is my second time through this episode. I've done it before. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. Bullshit. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. <laughs> Alright. Support right here. This is a fish tank. There's some clock windows. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it... Yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? You were trying to figure out something to do, alright? Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog. Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me. But you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of the sort, but oh. naturally it could not be the same dog. It is. Wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Yeah, listen to us. Uh, bizarre fantasy. Go on. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Fish tank. Uh, I don't know. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Hmm. Stop trying to confuse me! Um, what? My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. You know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Hmm. Do you see this picture? Yeah. I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitanen, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific muse and the <laughs> love of my life. Take a look. What do you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What I mean? do you see? What I see? Okay, this can take a while. I don't know why, it just takes a while. There we go. I, I don't know why, it just takes a while. Anyway, there we go. That be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you. What? How? I told you. We told Harry? you. It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... am I happy there? Yes. Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention, jeez. Doc, you can go anywhere you want to, anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. Yeah. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! Hmm. There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe- My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they were afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. Uh-oh. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yep. yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. 
Hmm. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. Really? So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please, dude. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Hmm. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Yeah! All right. I'll just go home for now, I guess. Why not? And here we are. Aquan's proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Oh yeah. Dad! Oh. Holy crap. Pop out the tape. Son, I think it's done rewinding. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. Really? Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's it gotta happening. be a clue around here somewhere. The bat. Do bot. Dad. That's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Yeah. Oh wait, very don't curious. touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? To hide proof. What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> All right. I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Okay. They're right here. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? They're gone. There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh. Uh -oh. Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom oh, well. of this. Yeah, Ooh. we'll do. Who could have done this to me? Who stands to lose if those tapes get out? Everybody who's badmouth Citizen Brown that didn't know a camera was on. But that's half the people in town. No, I'm guessing this was a lone agent. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Hmm. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. No, we can't give up. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without... Attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Too long. Too six long. months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Yep. Uh, what I mean is... I got to give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was going to furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Oh yeah. Harboring straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. Really? It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well... History's changed. Yep, prove it. Oh, I'll prove it, boy. I'll prove it good. Read him and weep. The merits, but it was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. 
No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours, maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back, before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. Yeah. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? to the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Sure. Of course. Gotta cover all bases. <laughs> That's true. Let me figure out which monitor I'm on. I think this is the one, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, more push. There we go. And VCR. That should do it. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff. Biff! But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? Uh-oh. And he's taking I the I can't tapes. understand it. That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. Yeah. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. <laughs> Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. We'll figure out. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right. Wow. You two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. Yep, let's go find Biff. All right. I think this is automatic, so we'll see what happens. It's not a cutscene. Well, it is a cutscene, but we have to talk to Biff. Choose our lines. Biff. Whoa! Settle down, there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Well, let's see if we can help? get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. Moose. Moose. <laughs> See? Um. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. Huh. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah, 
She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Hmm. So the last thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch? Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Biff, your watch. Does X-11 mean anything to you? X-11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. <laughs> See? Okay, so we should switch cool. modes. And we take it to X and to 11. Yeah? Okay, that's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. What's wrong with you? It looks like he's brain damaged or something. Where's my dad's tape? Oh. The decycling bin? Would you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Uh. All right, we're progressing. Hopefully, this will not be. Hey, Mr. Ten. Uh. What's up? Uh, uh, uh. Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh. Hmm. Hey, you can't go in there. Uh, uh. Hey. Huh. Man, he drops in. Oh. Uh... Holy smokes! W what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. That's weird. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Alright. Alright then, um... Next time we'll jump right in after, um... Beth. So, uh... Thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, I'm Ameth, of course, and thank you for watching again. I, how many times am I going to say that? I, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.